Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been receiving a bunch of comments asking me how to create the greeting card template. Um, and so I made a video of how I do it on my program Pixelmator. Um, but you can also do, you can also create the template on other programs such as Illustrator, Affinity Designer, Procreate. Um, and so those are other programs you can use. So uh, I'm going to show you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Um, and for a lot of you who are visual learners, um, this will probably be helpful in the process. So I hope this video helps you out. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, comment to let me know if it worked for you. Um, and please enjoy this video. Thanks. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Pixelmator. Um, this is the template that we are going to try to create. So we're going to begin by making a new template. But I'm just looking at the layers on the side. Make sure your layers are opened um, so you can see what's on your canvas. Okay, we're going to go to new document and we're going to set the letter template to 8.5 by 11. Resolution at 300, good. Okay. Then here's a blank letter size document. And we're just going to start opening up a new one and that is the size of your card which is 4.25 by 5.5 okay and that's where you're gonna put your picture or your illustration that you want on the front of your card and we're just gonna name it I've also named the letter document so we don't get confused. All right, and then we're going to get an illustration that I recently actually did today. It's so cute. I love this. It's sorry you're sick. You go in there, you just make sure it's centered. And then you're going to want to export the file to a JPEG and then just send it to your desktop and label it whatever you need to label it as. Just gonna put get well. Send it to the desktop. Okay. Now we're going to also make a template for the back of the card. So you can write down your put your logo in if you already have one just insert it in the document or you can type it out if you want with all your information to your Etsy shop website I'm just putting an example Amanda Holden designs and my website and just gonna put it at the bottom of the card because this is gonna be the back side of your a2 card center it and then we're gonna do it again and export JPEG, label it, send it to the desktop. Okay, now we're going to minimize that and we are going to open up the letter size canvas and this is where we will make the template. Let me go back here. Now you're going to click and drag the image, your, that's your front of the card, and you're going to put it right there on the right side and make sure that it's aligned. And we're going to take the back and put it on the left side. Make sure that you have your magnetic measurement out, whatever that is. Sorry, can't think of what it is. Um, 
and then you're gonna duplicate right click on your layer on the side here and then you're going to drag it down that way you have two cards that can fit on the letter size document and then again with the other side and then everything seems to be centered and you just want to lock the layers the the logo information just go ahead and right click and lock those layers so that way it doesn't move because this will be your main template because you can actually take another card you can put it on top of this and you can delete the bottom layers too if you don't want anything showing through by accident but you just want to make sure it's all lined up nicely but yeah I just wanted to show you what you can do adding the different cards for when you print if that makes sense duplicate and drag Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. We're gonna go back to the original um, card and we're just gonna go ahead and print the sample so you can see what it looks like. Okay, export to PDF. Name it whatever you need to name it. Export to your desktop so you can easily find the file. And then we're gonna go into print. And then you'll see here, I have them, I have it all preset to greeting cards. You wanna make sure that you go to your media quality and quality, and you can select the rear tray if you have a photo printer. You always wanna do that. And then here are the different kinds of cards or paper that you can select but I'm gonna do the matte photo paper because that's the best and then of course the quality make sure it's all the way at the best so we want to make sure that it's a full borderless print if it's full color and now we're gonna press print and see how it turns out Okay, so we are printing from my Canon Pixma TS8320. It's a great printer. I love it. I rely on it all the time. You can see that I have a second one in the back there, so that way I can keep on printing. Um, but it just comes out so nice on this paper, and um, it's a little bit slow going, but I think the quality is so beautiful that I don't mind it so much so I'd rather have a nice printed a nicely printed greeting card but here you go that's how it looks and I think you would love it in person so if you want to buy this card it is available on my Etsy shop it's so cute I really love how it came out but this is how it looks Super cute, love the details.